All right, we're about to go see Top Gun Maverick. And guess what, babe? What? I feel the need. The need for speed! All right, we just saw Top Gun Maverick. What'd you think, babe? It was so awesome. I think it's better than the first one. And I think it's one of Tom Cruise's best roles. I definitely gotta watch the behind the scenes stuff because I wonder how they got some of these shots. But there's a lot of people here and they're loud, so we're gonna go home. <laughs> this movie is awesome. Let's talk about it. Top Gun Maverick is directed by Joseph Kaczynski. And let's be real, Tom Cruise got this movie made. But I remember seeing like 10 years ago, them talking about trying to make a sequel to Top Gun. And honestly, over the years, I started to think it would never happen. And not only that, but I wondered whether we actually needed a sequel to Top Gun. But after seeing it, I gotta say, this is the movie I didn't know we needed. And in fact, I think the reason why it hasn't been made until now is because Tom Cruise wanted to make it the way he wanted to. And I can't wait to get a Blu-ray copy so that I can see all the behind the scenes footage. The first thing I want to say about Top Gun Maverick is that it is not a perfect film, but it comes pretty damn close. I don't have a lot of bad stuff to say about it, so I'll just knock that out of the way. It does feel like it tries to catch people up, and I don't think it needed to. At least not as strongly as it did. And at the beginning, I got a little worried about the flashbacks we saw because I didn't want them to do that throughout the movie. It definitely feels like a little bit of the stuff at the bar with Rooster and his friends was a little forced. The reason I say that is because they're trying to introduce us to all these new characters, but also Tom Cruise is just kind of there watching them. But there's one scene in particular involving Rooster playing the piano that really didn't hit me like I thought it would. Other than that, this movie is a thrill ride and a nostalgia trip. I know one thing a lot of people are probably going to ask is, do I need to watch the first Top Gun before I see this? I'm going to say no, but you are going to be rewarded if you have seen the first one. There's a lot of little callbacks, a lot of little Easter eggs, and just little knots of things that I feel like only fans of the first one can appreciate. So Top Gun Maverick picks up present day. Tom Cruise is still in the Navy. Being that he's been in the Navy for almost 40 years, he's only a captain. And a lot of people make fun of him for that. He's at that point where if he ranked up anymore, he wouldn't be able to fly just because at a certain point in the military, you're forced to ride a desk. And so we see Tom Cruise struggling with that. And I liked how Ed Harris was similar to that first Admiral that we got to see in the beginning of the first Top Gun. He definitely reminded me of that character. But he tells Tom Cruise, look, either go teach at Top Gun or or turn in your wings. And obviously he's still gonna wanna fly. And the rest of the movie is centered around this insane mission that I don't wanna spoil anything about because when I first saw what they had to do, I was like, holy shit, this is gonna be crazy. And so the meat of this movie is centered around Maverick teaching these already really good pilots who have already made it through Top Gun to execute this mission that may or may not even be possible. So the stakes are through the roof. We've got some of the best fighter pilots in the world and Maverick is teaching them. If that doesn't sound exciting, to you, I don't know what will. And that's pretty much all I want to say about the plot. And so I just want to talk about some of the characters that stood out to me. Jennifer Conley, great love interest. They didn't overdo it with her backstory. It was very sweet. And I definitely bought that relationship between her and Maverick. Miles Teller, I thought his relationship with Maverick was not forced and it was done in a way where I could really understand why the characters don't like each other. John Hamm was excellent as this admiral who is overseeing Maverick and how he's doing everything. And I'm going to try and say this guy's name as best as I can. Bashir Salahuddin loved his character. He's kind of used for a lot of stuff plot wise but I just genuinely liked his character. He just seemed like a good dude. And the rest of the characters in this movie are awesome too. They're all played really well but those are the ones that get a lot of screen time compared to the others. The score for this movie, genius. It just, it plays off of the first movie really well and gives it this modern feel that just gave me like chills every time it kicked in. The flying scenes and the aerial combat, I I mean, they used real jets to do this and they put cameras all over them. So you get all these crazy shots. Every time they go to the cockpit and you see these pilots, I don't know, it's just something about it just looks so cool. Every time there's like a smoke cloud that kicks in behind them, it just, it looks awesome. The script is simple. It's way more fleshed out than that first Top Gun. The first Top Gun, definitely a stylized movie. There's not a whole lot of substance to the plot and things kind of feel like they're just happening. But in this one, it feels like there's constantly stuff happening. 
being no time is wasted, which is important because this is a two hour and 15 minute movie and if the time wasn't completely utilized, it would drag. And the last 30 minutes of this movie is literally an emotional roller coaster. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I think this is my favorite movie of the year so far. I am gonna be doing a review on everything everywhere all at once and I think that is a perfect film in my eyes. So that might be the best movie of the year, but this one is my favorite. And one other thing I know for sure is that I cannot wait to see it again. I saw it in XD at Cinemark, but I honestly might go see it in IMAX just because it was filmed with IMAX cameras. But you gotta see this movie. And with those thoughts, I am gonna give Top Gun Maverick a 9 out of 10. I just absolutely adored this movie. I love it. It gave me so many feels. I could literally talk about this movie for hours. And I know this weekend is packed full of content. We've got Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 1 dropping, as well as the first two episodes of Obi-Wan. But seriously, I implore you to take a binge break from the shows. Go get some popcorn, get a soda pop, kick back, and watch this movie. Because you are going to regret not seeing this on the big screen if you don't. Tom Cruise did it. The son of a bitch did it. He made literally one of the best sequels of all time. I'm going to go ahead and say it. The way that he played Maverick and the way that he was able to capture the same feel of this character, but in a more mature, wise way, literally blows my mind. I honestly think this might be Tom Cruise's best role. I try really hard to keep these reviews short, so I'm going to move on. If you guys would like me to do a spoiler talk, it's going to be hard to find time, but I don't care. Even if only like six people watch it, I think I'm going to do a spoiler talk at some point. Maybe after I see it a second time. But let me know down in the comments, have you seen Top Gun Maverick? And if not, did this video make you want to? And also, what's your favorite Tom Cruise role? if not this one. And also, I just want to say, I literally heard some woman screaming, Tom Cruise, I love you. Thank you for making this movie. And that just goes to show, Tom Cruise is still, if not one, of the biggest movie stars on the planet. And with how much power in Hollywood he has, creative-wise, I wonder if he'll even make a bad movie again. I mean, I'm sure he learned from The Mummy, but damn, I loved this movie. Only other thing I want to say, guys, is there is a G Fuel BOGO going on right now. If you're not sure what flavors to pick up, definitely go check out my reviews on this channel. I have over 120 20 of them, so you'll find something that's for you. And if you haven't already, pick yourself up an official Danny Dorito 23 G Fuel Shaker. And also, guys, if you want me to keep these reviews coming, because they are a lot of work and there's a lot of stuff to watch, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that any new video I post goes straight to you. Stay tuned for another review very soon. And as always, stay safe, be nice to each other out there, and I will see you in the next one. Peace! Go see this movie.